Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Now I know, I know it has been ages since you've seen this pretty face on YouTube, but don't worry, I'm back and I'm here with a highly requested video. This is my morning skincare routine and I just want to show you guys an update of what my skin has been looking like because it has improved a lot. As you can see, the scars that I had has reduced. I've still got this ugly spot for some reason, but I'm working on it and this weird like dark scar. My nose area is pretty clear. Around my mouth has always been a bit darker than the rest of my face and my forehead is pretty clear. It's a lot, lot clearer than it used to be. And I'm gonna share with you guys the products that I've been using to help my skin glow and just look a lot more healthier than it did last year. So to start off, I'm using the Carbon Theory Charcoal and Tea Tree Oil Cleansing Bar. And this soap has been everywhere. I've been seeing it all over the internet. It's supposed to be the six pound miracle cleansing soap. It's made out of activated charcoal and tea tree oil, which is supposed to detoxify and draw out impurities from your skin. It's supposed to balance out, hydrate and brighten your complexion. It's for all skin type and it's vegan and cruelty free, which is really good. Hopefully it helps my skin. What I like to do is cut a little bit of the soap off, I lather it together in my hand to activate the charcoal and then I wash my face and my neck with the product. If you're washing your face for 3 to 5 seconds then that's really not going to cut it because you need to give the product time to do its thing. I then wash my face and let it air dry and as you can see my face is extremely super dry and white, you know we're looking all crispy but don't worry we're going to sort that out with the next step. I then go in with the Retinol and Jasmine Toner by Pixie Beauty. This contains retinol of course which over time will reduce the fine lines on your face, smooth out your complexion and leave your skin looking young and youthful. The Jasmine Flower heals and balances the complexion and it has a lovely smell which I love and the colour is just so pretty. I love the lilac purpley colour that it has going on. Here you can see that my face has gone back to looking normal, it's hydrated and it doesn't look as dry as it did before. After the toner, I go in with this Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5 from The Ordinary. This is supposed to help keep the skin hydrated as it can attract up to 1000 times its weight in water apparently. So your skin's really supposed to be looking all fresh and plumped after using this product. It also has B5 which helps to enhance the hydration level on the surface of your skin so again it's supposed to leave your skin looking all nice looking all plumped and not dry and crispy because we're not trying to look dry this summer we're trying to look like we just stepped out of the sea and our skin is plumped and hydrated like we've been drinking 1000 glasses of water a day because listen <laughs> I'm using this silicone applicator to apply it that I got from Amazon in a pack of five after that, I let the product dry, then I go in with the Nicenamide 10% plus Zinc 1% from The Ordinary. This claims to reduce the appearance of blemishes and congestion. It's supposed to balance out the visibility of sebum, which means it's supposed to reduce the skin's oil levels. So if you have oily skin, this product is supposed to be really good for you. I have oily skin, which is why I use this product. Also, this is a very important note, this product should not be used at the same time as vitamin C as apparently they can cancel each other out or there's some kind of like contradiction towards the products. So if you're using this in the morning, use vitamin C at night, which is recommended by The Ordinary it's on their website. So if you want more information about that, then go check it out there. I'm using the same silicone applicator that I used before to spread the product all over my face to make sure that it's even and that all the areas of my face have the product. I then go in with this sunscreen by Eucerin, it's the mattifying sun liquid and it has SPF 50 in it. It's white in colour. The texture is light, it's non-greasy, unperfumed, it's water resistant and it's SPF 50 plus which is amazing. It's suitable for both oily and sensitive skin. The aim of this sunscreen is to leave your skin looking mattified but not dry and not shiny or greasy either. 
What I don't like about this product is the fact that if you have any form of melanin in your skin, it will leave you with a white cast, which is horrible because nobody wants to be walking around looking like a ghost. I also don't like the fact that it started peeling the product that I had on my face previously. This doesn't usually happen in my previous sunscreen and I don't know if it's because I had the hyaluronic acid or the niacinamide on my face but this is not cool, like I couldn't go anywhere looking like this. I mean first of all the white cast is bad enough and I just thought if I kept blending and blending it would absorb into my skin and I'll be looking all normal again but it just was not trying to blend out for dear life, like it was just, it was just there, not blending. I used a paper towel to remove all the peels off my face and then I went in with the Ordinary's Rosehip Oil. This is proven to reduce signs of ageing, it's high in fatty acids, vitamins and antioxidants. It also reduces redness, it can treat scars and hyperpigmentation and it also brightens your complexion. I wasn't actually planning on using this in my routine this morning but I decided to because I thought it would help my skin to look normal again and not so pale because of the sunscreen which is a good thing because it actually did just that so I'm happy about that if you've been following my skincare journey for a while now then you know that this rosehip oil by The Ordinary is my favourite moisturiser ever I've been using it for over a year and I love it so much so after I finish using all the products, this is what my skin looks like I love how it looks, it's just glowy and it just looks so healthy if you're thinking about trying any of these products, let me know in the comments below. If you've already tried any of them, let me know how your experience was. Give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!